Zoloft, Prozac, Lexapro. Oh, yeah. All those things. Why do you just sing a song by antidepressants? It's a song by one of the people from the Vlog Squad. Scotty Sire has one called... Oh, really? Zola, Prozac, Lexapro, all things that I've tried before. Like, it's like a rap he talks about being sad all the time. Oh. Shout out, Scotty Sire. Sad Scotty Sire. Also, Vlog Squad, stop going to parties with people over 100 people and not wearing That's masks, That's another you dumb thing. bitches. That's another thing. You guys are 30 now. You're not cool and young and hip. There's Sorry. There's so many COVID parties going so on. So many it's, COVID parties. There was one at David Dobrik's house. That's what I'm talking about. What the and fuck, And then David dude? hiding from it. David is just more problematic than all of them combined. They're all idiots. Then they went to a mm -hmm. roast after where there was fucking like audience and shit. And it's like, yeah, they're like, they could say, oh, we all got tested. That test doesn't count no. if you go and party before. Like, no, exactly. <laughs> they're so stupid. People you're, like, I have to oh. say, you're pretty woke about COVID. I like okay. that a lot. I'm so woke about COVID because I was was like okay one i see my parents my parents are like in their 60s so i'm very like that well in general also i don't see people in general but also when i did do i would do i did like four only fans collabs and i we'd always do the covid test before because one of the girls was pregnant and so we did like a covid test before um and there was one girl in particular who was like a young tiktoker and she's like yeah babe like i got the covid test but then i saw her like the night before going to a freaking party and i had i'm sorry if it showed my age i called that bitch out i'm like bitch yeah. you went to a party oh i got tested i was like negative Doesn't work i was like, like that. you had a party Last night, like how yeah. are these? But these people are like actually vapid and stupid. Like they actually like don't like, especially that vlog squad group. They actually don't think they're doing anything wrong. They're like, we're young. It's we're rich. literally like, illegal in LA to do that. Literally illegal. Yeah. You can only be with three households, less than twenty people. You're supposed to wear a mask yeah. even at the parties. None of them were doing that. Filming them like idiots. Like who films it? Like okay, you're gonna be a fucking idiot. Like why are you gonna go film it? Like they're so stupid, but they get exempt from everything, and that's why. And that is my vendetta against them. Fuck whatever happened with me. Whatever. It's like these privileged white rich people, like straight. They like, fucking get away with everything. It's so fucking I don't think annoying. They're all white. They're all white. No, I saw. Well, name name an ethnic person in that group. Not in the vlog. No, the vlog. But I've seen not white people. A lot of TikToks of all ethnicity doing COVID parties. I mean. Yeah, but I'm saying specifically that group doesn't get canceled. They did literal blackface. Zane, David, they literally put peanut butter on their face, and they don't get canceled. You know, can what? you pull up a picture of David Dobrik with peanut butter on his face? That doesn't sound like blackface. No, they literally did it because their black friend walked in. They're like, Seth, and they had the peanut butter on their face, and like, oh, no. Really? Like, it literally was a blackface joke. I got I to like, ta take this. I want to take these off, and I think it would be off. entertaining in the show. This is feels so bad. Ooh, oh, don't do, it, don't do it now. Don't do it now. Oh, my God, I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. Really? Blah. How do you take yours off? Well, mine are like acrylic, so they have to drill them off. I can't just rip they them off. They drill them? Yeah, these are perm. How do you put on acrylic? Is it just glued on? It's literally acrylic. They paint it. They paint acrylic Wait, that's on. your, that's your real they nail? They put, oh. no, they make a tip, a freeform tip. They paint the acrylic. It hardens. This is oh, acrylic. Oh, oh. So wait, how do they, wait, how do they place the nail on? I'm confused. What do you mean? It's a free form. So there's like a little tape thing underneath like this. Yeah. And then they build the acrylic on top of the free form. And then when it hardens, they take the free form okay. sticker or whatever off. Right. So it's just really stuck on your. Yeah. It's like know. rock solid. And when you want to take it off, they drill it. Yeah. They drill them down or they soak it off. Dude, these were supposed to come off easy, bro. Be careful. Ah. Right. I'm trying to take it off with one of my other nails. This was supposed to come off. Everyone's like, oh, they come off so easy. Oh, that one is coming off. Oh, don't show it. People are going to be cringe. No, it's okay. Ow. Wait till I have to take off mm. my contact lens. Yeah, I'm, I don't I'm know how you're going to do, do it by yourself. Ah! And your support left. Ela's gone, so you won't have anyone to my wipe care. your ass. Yeah, I'm going to take my... You're really dependent on her, aren't you? I mean, no no shade. Um. Yeah. Cute. Like, what do you mean dependent? Like, give me an example. Like, you, like, you guys can never, ever be, a, like, break up because you need her. Break up? We're married. We have a kid. Mm. Yeah, we we'll obviously want to break up with her. But we've been together for a long time. But you guys are like the Ace family where it's like, you guys are a business now. You guys can't break up. That's, no, that has nothing to do with that. That's 100% it. You think we would want to break up. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying you're dependent on her. She's more independent. Yeah, she's military boss babe, but like you're yeah, like, she's oh, independent. Ventura, what up? <laughs> she is very independent. You're mm -hmm. right about that. Anyway. Did, did you find the clip of the peanut butter, Dan? Uh, no. I, I, was not able to. I think huh. that video above it. That video above it. See? What? You just went. That article. Oh, you're screwed. That one. It was like an apology video. Who? No. That's not it. Go. You have to scroll through. Look. This is it. Wait. Watch. It's in this same video. I mean, you have to like go through it. This is all the racist moments of David Dobrik. Oh, pull it up on your phone. Let's do a super cut. <laughs> Wait, a super cut? We're way over. 
Oh, okay. I want to watch David Dobrik's racist <laughs> moments, Dan. <laughs> okay. I want to watch David Dobrik's racist. I want to watch David Dobrik's oh racist God. moments 2018 confirmed <laughs> re-uploaded. Stupid. 1080p. Okay. Let me decide. Wait, hold on. Oh, I don't want to watch commentary. No, you'll see the video. He has the clip. Wait. Wait, here it is. Here it is. It's coming. He has he has the clip. Sorry, it's coming. It's coming. Watch, here it is. Wait, hold on. Here it comes. Zane and Alex from David's vlog. David's filming. Wait. So it was like, it, they made it look like it was like they were just goofing around and then he walked in. He was like, you guys are doing blackface. It was like a sketch. It was a sketch about blackface. But I, I don't think they were meant. To, the, the joke was that they didn't mean to do blackface. Then he walked in, and they're like, oh, it looks like we're doing blackface. I love that you always defend the white creators, because last time, too, with Anthony and Mikey, you're like, it's not that bad. Mikey, you're like, let's just skim over it. Mikey did a Rihanna-inspired makeup tutorial where she put fake bruises on her face, but you're like, let's just skim over that. What? I want to see that. <laughs> I can't, because it's an hour-long video. We're like, who's got time for an hour? It's so I'm important here. to watch the full I'm hour. I'm here to watch it. Oh my god! Now I have to go find that clip. Like it's it's on the wait. It's I'm on not the I'm not video. trying to defend white. You grit. do you I, brush over trying, things like I'm mm, just trying to fine. give people the benefit of the doubt because I don't want I don't want to be like you come on here and you say blah 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 blah. I'm just trying to give my my. Do you want to watch the rest of that video where there's I more feel, I feel like racist I things that they all say about yeah. Indians, yeah, 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 about yeah, 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 Asians, yeah. about little kids he's being sexy. Like yes, yeah. they're all jokes and that's fine, but don't I'm cancel some context. creators and not others. He wasn't like he was in blackface going like, "Hey guys, it's blackface day." The fuck is this? That's what I'm saying. Like, just, it's just a bunch of. Then they do a Native American bit. Like, they do all these things about. Anyways, there's so many. Oh. Oh, I remember this clip. I saw Anyways, this a while ago. Whatever. Keep apologizing for them. That's how they get more what, rich, famous, whatever. Good. They're all problematic. They date underage people. They're their other friend that oh, dated a seventeen. Yeah, twenty four year old Brandon Cavill dating a seventeen year old. But I'm the fucking crazy bitch for calling it out because it's like, oh my god, I can't believe Trish called that out. It's proven. It's in videos. Edwin Edwin's generation made a whole video proving that she was. And he's like, oh no, we were friends. And then we dated when she was eighteen. No, they all knew it. They're all apologists for that. It's fucking annoying. Let's take and down the let's vlog just squad. Spread. No, let's not. No, let's fucking let's take just, them all down. Let's dismantle the vlog squad empire. I just think they should be held to the same standard. Like, oh, you're gonna have a COVID party? Like, what the fuck? Oh, is the wrong COVID with party people? shit is unexcusable. They, in their own group. I hate that uh, shit. It's Joe. Their own group members got COVID, and it was well, like, oh, because By the way, like, the thing that I hate about it is like they're supposed to be like these woke, like socially woke and like responsible creators, but but they're but if you're having a party on COVID, then and you're no one's wearing a mask and shit, like that's that it. That's fucked up, dude. That's like so fucked up. I hate people like, like that. People are literally dying because of shit like that. It's just not cool. Anyway. Can we get Michael Keaton on this podcast too, please? Yes. Okay, so when are we taking these guys? Just to recap, we have Michael Keaton. Uh, Jim Elton Carrey. John, I think you requested. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. Jim Carrey. Yeah, who else? Oh, and you wanted, um, what's the guy? Is the Spaceballs guy? Rick Moranis. Pamela Anderson. No, yeah, Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Pamela Anderson, not a problem. Sasha Baron Cohen. New movie, Borat. Second one comes out October 23rd on I'm Amazon excited. Prime. I'm we'll really just promo it now. You know, the I liked the last one he made, but it was on Showtime, so no one watched it. Oh, yeah, he had an Israeli character in there. Mm -hmm. I just like to fetishize anybody Israeli now. <laughs> Not my boyfriend. Do you find Israeli. him attractive, Sasha? Mm, yes. I never did before I started dating Moses. I never really found, like, those kind of people, you know? <laughs> Those kind of people? That doesn't sound very PC. I just think I said it wrong. Babe, what am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Help. Moses. Babe, help. What is it? What are we trying to say? Middle Eastern people? Middle Eastern, yeah, that's it. Israelis? I, it was never like a thing that I went for, but I feel like now if Moses and I broke up, I would only date Middle Eastern people because they would remind me of Moses. It always happens. Like the last person I date, I try and find someone else that's like them until someone breaks the mold. And so Moses broke that mold for Middle Eastern. So, hey, if I ever get broken up, if you're in Jordan, if you're in freaking Dubai, Lebanon, Israel. Wait, you want to, So you would date an Arab person? 
Oh my God, they're the ones that fascinate me the most. Can we get an Arab on? Um, no, what are the ones I want to interview? Muslim. Let's get a Muslim on here. Because I'm so fascinated by Muslim culture. Like, I love all of it. Like, I am really into it right now. <laughs> like, I really am. Do you, do you want to pray to Mecca five times a day? I'm down. I like the I like the idea of praying five times a day. Really? Like, I watch 90 Day Fiance, and, like, I feel like oh, they yeah. are praying. I love it. Yeah, they're always, and there's, like, a Muslim on this one, and I just think they're, like, hot. All right, let's wrap it up. And I think, um. Not because of the Arab thing, just because it's going, it's just going too long. Do you know Arabic? No. Mm.